Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. We are going to be jumping in again and showcasing a new character that is known as exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. As you might also know, Blue Baby is normally called question mark, question mark, question mark. So this is basically an alternate like red baby. It is the red version of Blue Baby. He starts with Lemon Mishap because of course Blue Baby starts with Poo, so he's gonna start with P, which I think is pretty funny. But we're gonna jump in and see what we can do as him. From what I understand if we go through this character's um, Steam Workshop page, this character is kind of based around dying and red health. Um, so let's have a little look-see. So, um, he's the polar opposite of Blue Baby. He revolves around Red Hearts and Revives. He starts with Lemon Mishap and the Smelted Lost Cork. Um, he will revive as long as he has two or more red heart containers. Those heart containers will be tend to burn hearts and his speed, tier delay and damage will increase. Um, when playing as um, Red Baby, his soul hearts and black hearts are morphed into rotten and burn hearts respectively. There's also a bunch of unlocks for this character too. So let's just jump in and see what we can do. He's a pretty basic character. He kind of seems like a sort of blend with Lazarus. Um, as long as we have two red hearts, we're going to revive. So essentially, we want to be maximizing the amount of red hearts we can get and killing ourselves for all opportunities. <laughs> kind of similar to Lazarus in a way, but it's definitely got a little bit of difference to it. And then of course we have the quirk of the Lost Cork plus Lemon Mishap. Um, I can't remember, is Lemon Mishap a two room charge or a one room charge? If it's a one room charge, okay, it's a two room charge. Um, I would say if it was a two room charge, it'd be really strong, but not quite. Um, we do have one of these devil charges. I don't exactly know what these devil charges do. Okay, it's it's given as negative charge. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll jump in as this character. I really like the sprites for him so far. They look pretty damn cool. Um, and as well, we do have the future mod on as well, which we haven't actually seen the new floor yet. But there's a new floor uh, that's apparently a challenge floor called the future. And I'm really excited to see if we can see it. It should show up on the caves. Um, so we'll basically see if we end up coming across it. And that is... Quite the uh, quite the soul to be given right off the bat here. Uh, we can use that to kill this floor's boss or whatever we want. I don't think it lasts through rooms, does it? The soul of Azazel. I never really remember. Because if so, I could just use it to blast through a bunch of rooms here. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, no no extra stuff from, uh, from poops for this guy. Ooh, hello. Sulfuric Acid is an absolutely fantastic item to get off the bat. And also, it makes our tears vaguely piss-coloured too, so... <laughs> it's all uh, it's all on theme. It's all on theme. But I like characters like this. Um, the, in in modding, you don't get that many characters like this. Of course, a lot of um, modded characters tend to be quite complex or unique, which is great. But also, you don't get that many that are like basic and vanilla style. Like Job, for example, is very sort of vanilla style as I'd see it. Um, and this character is uh, very vanilla style as well. Of course, being sort of mapped around the idea of Blue Baby, sort of his polar opposite. It means that, yeah, he is um, he's a very vanilla-esque character. So they're, they're pretty fun to add, especially when they have a lot of unlocks as well. They're pretty fun to add to a series. Now, at the minute, I'm just going to try and uh, find the secret rooms now that I have Acid Tears, because why the hell not? Acid Tears are pretty darn useful for that. I mean, I could go around and try and get um, a crawl space as well, but that'll probably take a while. Right. Come on, Acid Tears, don't take too long. There you go. Free hug. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Um, so, we could probably kill ourselves on this floor and respawn. Um, we'll try to do so. I'm, sh I'm sure that I'm going to end up fumbling the whole killing myself mechanic at some point. But let's try and hope that, that doesn't happen. Uh, let me just quickly check over here. I don't think this is secret room because it was blocked. But I'll check it anyways. No, it's not. And this can't be secret room here. Try and destroy these pots real quick. Nothing, unfortunately. It is what it is. Right. Keep it moving along. But yeah, I like having Lemon Mishap, especially with the Lost Cork. Having the Lost Cork as part of it means uh, that the radius that we get from using Lemon Mishap will be much larger. I think it's around a 50% increase, if I remember correctly. It's, it's a pretty sizable increase. Get away with your spiders. Dude, this guy's created crazy amounts of spiders. Stop. No, thank you. Um, so where the hell's normal secret room then? I'm a bit confused on where normal secret room would be. Um, I guess it's here. 
Yeah, that was that's a weird place for it to be. Wow, a dime as well. Okay, we can. This is a pretty good first floor for us here. Really, just two bombs. Sad times. Sad times. But yeah, now we can go into our shop and get ourselves a potential item as well. So a very very good start to a run as a new character. I like it. Um, and yeah, we'll take spider mods. Spider mods obviously not insanely good, but random status effects, being able to see enemies' HP, it's useful. It's useful. Right, boss time. We'll use our uh, lemon mishap to do some shenanigans. Oh, no, we won't, because it's boss flies. <laughs> Great way to nerf us here. I mean, we've got good damage anyways. This guy uh, has started with pretty good damage as it is, and then we got a small damage up from uh, sulfuric acid. So we're doing all right on the damage department anyways. Ooh, that was a pretty bad hit by me there. That hit was kind of intentional. That hit was not intentional. Let's play it a little bit safe now, shall we? Go for another bomb hit. Get the cracked orb. So, let me just quickly check the page again. Um, and make sure I've got this right. So... We'll revive as long as he has two or more red heart containers. Okay, so we don't want to take Golem's Orb yet. We'd like to revive first, as I understand it. It doesn't say we have a revive, but I'm going to trust in the process. Oh, also, we leave like little yellow bits when we, do, when we take damage. And there you go, we revive with good amount of extra stats there. I like that, good amount of extra stats. And then we can take this, and then we can go quickly go back. Oh! Of course, they get converted. I forgot about that. Now, it says red heart containers. Do bone hearts count as red heart containers? I don't think they do. And does it say at least two, or does it say more than two? As long as he has two or more. Okay, cool. So we what we realistically need one red heart container before we um before we can go again with killing ourselves, I think. Either way, this is a pretty good first floor of this guy. Let's not forget to um to grab our soul of Azazel, that would be very silly. And we'll go down to the next floor. As a full card is nice, but soul of Azazel being able to kill uh, a rough boss easily is a little more applicable, a, a, a little nicer for us. Let's jump on down to the next floor. We've got no real goal in terms of where we're going for the boss here. I just want to play around with this character and see what we can do. Another cellar floor here. I'm gonna try and get secret room early, just in case. I doubt it's here, but you've got to check. Why is, why is all the enemies flying? I'm like, hey, let's use our lemon mishap and every single enemy is to goddamn flying. Goddamn, we have 4.9 damage, which means we're just not killing these guys in one shot. Only just. Having rotten hearts, though, instead of soul hearts is pretty nice. I like that. It's risky, of course, but it's nice. Sulfuric tears, could you like... There you go, hurry up. So, as you can see, the radius now, it's not crazy, it's not quite free lemonade sort of radius, but it's good, it's a good radius. Good. And we've got all Rotten Hearts going now, so we've got some really good bonus damage every room from that. Honestly, Rotten Hearts are pretty powerful. There's a pretty bad bit of damage there, but those trites are the absolute bane of my existence anyway, so ignore them. Dude, every fucking enemy on this floor flies. <laughs> Oh my god, stop. I just want an enemy that I can kill with Lemon Mishap, please. Gotta be careful for this boss, because he can be a little tricky. I think he does land, though, eventually, doesn't he? So, once he lands, we can actually do some good stuff. There you go. So, let's go and do that now. Yeah, there you go. You're just chilling in the lemon. <laughs> chilling in the pee. In the pee. That's funny. Right, so this will give us a burn heart, I think. Black heart to burn hearts, right? Yeah, so it gives us a burn heart. Nice. So yeah, we still need the heart container, which means I think that realistically, we want to be making sure to go for angel deals here, because devil deals, we don't want to be trading away those red hearts that we can use for revives instead. Now, the question is, when do we want to be reviving? Because at the minute we've got rotten hearts and stuff, I probably don't want to bother reviving because the damage I'm getting from the fly is probably worth a bit more than the damage I'll get out of a revive. But I suppose that's more of a secondary mechanic than a, than something we need to be using every single floor. Like, with Tainted Lazarus, it's, 
it's a lot more like necessary because he starts with lower stats. But with this guy, he starts with decent stats, so I don't think we need to uh, worry too much about making sure that we constantly take advantage of the revives. They're just kind of there if we can take advantage, but while we've got a lot of burn hearts and we've got a lot of rotten hearts, I don't think it's super necessary for us. We can check what we've got here. I saw not too bad, not too bad. We'll do these extra rooms because why not? Good. Trying to make sure I don't get hit on my Rotten Hearts because they are... At this level, like this early on, they're really strong. Like you can get so much damage out of them. Especially with the damage values that we have right now. Of course, they're only going to get Rotten Hearts. But that's still... I really like a character that's built around Rotten Hearts. That's, that's, that's really nice because they're just so useful. Uh, that's not going to be useful for us, unfortunately. Unfortunately, sir. We found normal secret room as well, haven't we? No, we haven't yet. Okay, uh, let's take a little look where that could be. Yeah, maybe? No, it can't be there, can it? What am I, what am I on about? Um, I'm, not, I'm kind of unsure here where that could be. Hmm. Hmm, a little bit unsure. We sure it's not here? We checked there already though, didn't we? Yeah, it can't be there. Maybe, I don't know. This is this is a tricky one. I really don't know where it could be. Can't be up here. We, we do have some of these though that we can destroy. Eye source is pretty good for destroying rocks actually. I don't know where normal secret room could be here. This is confusing. I thought I checked everywhere that it could possibly be. Can't be there. Have I checked this wall here? I thought I had. I have. I'm confused. It couldn't be here, could it? It can be there. Wow, okay. 8% chance to transform enemies into a stronger version of themselves. Half their current um, health if successful. Seems interesting. We'll take it. And we'll pop in here real quick. Now, this is a tricky one. Um, I will do this. Damn it. It was not very successful. I was hoping for a, a quicker success than that. Okay, we'll just leave that chest alone. So I don't want to waste any more Rotten Hearts. We've already wasted two. They're pretty valuable, but those chests can pay out really nicely. Now, there is a few trinkets that work really well with Rotten Hearts that we could come across. One of them makes it so that Rotten Hearts only deal... You only take half a heart of damage, which is real goddamn good. You get all the benefits without any of the negatives. Okay, let's be careful of these guys. Little laser throwing fellas scare me a little bit. Okay, so we've got to remember that we are going to be upgrading enemies here and there, but it will half their HP if it does that, so... It does mean make them potentially easier to kill. Another Rotten Heart there. Beautiful. It's, it's, it's kind of nice, because it's like... It's a risky way to play a character that, like, all of your stuff is going to give you Rotten Hearts. It, it definitely adds a lot of risk, because obviously you're just taking more damage, but I like it. And then obviously we've got the ability to facilitate even more Burn Hearts as well, which I like. Um, unfortunately not very good for us, but I will grab it because it's a book. It's our first dud item though. Because it's like, Lemon Mishap isn't a particularly good, uh, we should use it at least once actually. Isn't a particularly good active, but, but like, I feel like I owe it to the character, especially on a showcase, to stick with the, um, the sort of flagship item of the character. I mean, it would help if like, every single room didn't have flying enemies though, that would... That would be ideal, because at the minute, pretty much every single room we go to is just flying enemies non-stop. Okay, I lost a burn heart there. My bad. Got crabs. Bird cage is rather nice. An on-hit item effect from... Um, what, what would you call these chests? Cast chests, spike, mimic chests, that's what you call them, mimic chests, spike chests, what are you going to call them? Um, from the mod that I, that I helped him making. I like it. But yeah, lost a burn heart there. Not ideal. 
but also not terrible. Um, secret room we could possibly check for here. We need a bit of extra fire rate just to make finding secret rooms a little quicker. Because sometimes the sulfuric acid tiers really just do not want to fire. Okay, no secret room there. No secret room there. Getting Rotten Baby here is also quite nice. I'm just going to check this again. I did just check it, but I'm paranoid <laughs> that I've missed it. Got you. Good, good. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's below us here. If it's not, I'll be surprised. Come on, Sulfuric. There we go. Sulfuric Acid doing its thing. Doing its thing. There's a burn heart for us, and some red hearts to boot as well. Good stuff. And we get to go into here as well. Wait, no, I thought this was going to enter us into the cash room, my bad. <laughs> I completely misjudged the map there. Ooh, frog boy has been upgraded. I'll do the boss now, uh, although let's check this first. There you go. I love it when you've got sulfuric acid because you can just find every single secret room. Oh, finally, a boss is actually going to take damage from this. Now, it's not going to be a ton of damage. Obviously, Lemon Mishap doesn't do a, t a whole lot. But it's nice. Hey, I managed to blow that guy up with his own, his own little room pal. And honestly, little Chad is not bad at all as this character. A character that can only take red health um, is... Assisted pretty heavily by having um, more red health dropping, so rather nice. Now, uh, sacrifice rooms seem like they could be an interesting play as this guy, especially if you get more red hearts going. If you get a, like a lot, a lot of health mixed up, then you could um, play sacrifice rooms quite heavily. Obviously, right now we're not really in that position, but seems quite plausible with this character. Good, good. We're going to head our way to the shop here and just um, quickly see if we can buy anything. Because we've got quite a lot of money right now. Still holding on to the Soul of Azazel. I'm basically waiting for a boss that looks tricky. I'm not like holding it till the end game or anything. But I'm just like, oh, card reading is so goddamn good. And honestly, I'm going to buy another Rotten Heart. I'm pretty happy with uh, having extra Rotten Hearts. I just think it's really fun. Yeah, um, card reading is so goddamn good. Um, in my opinion, it gives you uh, free access to secret rooms, both finding them wise and actually entering them. Gives you a shortcut to the boss if you want to do it straight away and not risk your angel deal chance. Um, it can get, get, take you straight to the item room and save you a key. It's all, all around, it's just really, really useful. Especially on the womb floors where it teleports you straight to the boss. That's like my favourite. So here we can go secret room or we can save a key. I'd rather go secret room, I think. Um... So, we'll, get, we'll take this one here. We do have to use a bomb, but no spicy key, so... And unfortunately not very worth it, to be honest, but hey her. Uh, we'll quickly try to destroy our mushrooms here. See if we get a bit of magic mush, mush action. You've got to try it, you've got to try it. Even though I'm probably not going to take the pills if it drops them, you've got to try for uh, magic mush. Okay, so now we place some of that there. One of you evil bastards. Very evil room here, to be honest. Lots of very horrible enemies. Okay, nice. A bomb dropped in that room, so we'll go back and get that. Ooh, and a moral heart. I wonder how a moral heart's playing this. Why the flipping hell did I use that? It was so silly. I could just have, um, thingied there. Uh, used sulfuric tears to do that, but hey her. Open up both of them at once there. Right, push this guy out. Different chest from the uh, the most, more chests mod. Crack both of those open. We get quite a lot here. Um, Anzus I'm just going to use. Hairpin? Hairpin's not very good with this, I don't think. I think I'd rather stick with what we've got going on now. There's a pill, and there's nothing. Okay. But yeah, Anzus at least reveals to us... Okay, that becomes the Rotten Heart. Nice. Um... I'm going to say Anzus reveals us to us the second secret room as well, which is rather nice. 
Good, good. I'm not going to destroy all these mushrooms because it's going to take forever. In fact, I could bomb them because I don't really need my bombs for much else. Saves me a bit of time. Just got to look for magic mush when the opportunity arises, right? Second secret room here. Of course, we still have to open it up. We don't instantly get inside. We've got these carrot boys to deal with. I wonder what the upgraded carrot looks like if we hit him with that mushroom item. And here we get ourselves transform bomb. Okay, that's actually that's pretty good. I mean, like I said, not that we really need bombs, but I guess if we get a bomb synergy, we can use these for combat and be pretty happy with it. But yeah, so far, character's really basic, but a lot of fun. I'm liking it. It's, it's nice to have a new basic character. It's like, like I said, it's like playing as Jerb. I really like Jerb because it's basically just a regular Isaac character that has lots of fire rate and lower damage. It's really simple, but it's it's nice. And that's very similar to how I think about this character. Plop that down. Unfortunately, he's just, just outside the radius. Which is a shame. Oh, dude, come on now. Lost a Rotten Heart there. Our Burn Hearts are at quite big risk with the amount of Rotten Hearts we potentially lose. Ooh, I'll take that. 10% chance for a Piercing tier is not crazy good, but it's decent. That's an extra heart there. Shop is valuable here, just in case we get the money. Some enemies don't seem to have an upgraded version, because I hit that guy with a mushroom and nothing happened. Oh, dude, I didn't realize you did that. <laughs> he did like a little monstrous lung style attack. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, Dreamcatcher is actually pretty good with, um, in combination with card reader, it just thematically. Oh, dude, can you stop sending me to the wrong goddamn room, please? Does the uh, trinket also give you a spectral tier when it's piercing as well? It seems like it does. This is a really, really annoying room here. So much creep. Die already. Stupid head. Again, I'm just gonna bomb these to save time. Right. No upgraded version of you guys. They've all got... Creep trails, which I don't like. Nice, you opened that up for me. And little Chad giving us more HP there. Unfortunately, yet another active. I'm really not liking the amount of actives the game's throwing my way right now. It's it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Let's just do our boss. Okay, so hopefully he stays on that lemon mishap for a bit, but it's not looking like it. That didn't hit him, sadly. There you go. Nice and easy kill on him. We've got plenty of bombs to play with in terms of combat, so... We might as well go for it. Consolation prize is rather lovely here. I will take it. There's our money to get um, thingy as well. And 1.4 damage, 25% chance to survive a fatal blow. Scales up to 50% with luck. Chance to smite enemies that uh, damage you. So that sounds pretty good. Especially the damage up. I'm liking that. Right. Let's go quickly back to the shop here and uh, grab... What's its name? Because it, it's going to give us a half soul heart per floor, and half soul hearts convert to rotten hearts, right? Although I don't know how a half would work, but I'm intrigued. We might we might end up getting a rotten heart per floor here, which would be really nice if that's the case. It might not work that way though, so don't don't wait up for that to happen. Anyways, down to the next floor. Let's go, red baby. And we did, okay, Rotten Heart per floor from card reading is really, really useful for us. Um, we'll grab this card here, because it's going to give us a friend. These guys are potentially really strong. Sometimes they die really fast, it really depends on the enemies you come up against. 
But overall, they, they seem to do quite a good amount of damage. And they've got some cool attacks, as you can see, as well. Get some lemon mishap in there. It's explosions and lasers that kill them quick. If either one of those things hit him, he's going to die. Alright, we've just got to wait this out. In fact, do we have to wait this out, really? No, we don't. I don't, I don't want to do a room that makes me wait. Right. Let's keep on moving. I should have looked at my card reading to see what item was in my item room, but I probably would have been disappointed that it was going to be an active again. I'd rather find out later. <laughs> be in denial for a little bit. Okay, ooh, the Mega Charger there. A extra burn heart, lovely. Just honestly, getting extra burn hearts is more places to store, um... To store rotten hearts is my main goal right now. I just want as many rotten hearts as I can get because they can just be so strong. They just scale out of control. Rotten hearts are so useful. Ooh, baby. Oh, yes. We just got 100% um, uptime on our lower mishap every room. We can use it every single room now. That's super valuable. Maybe slow here. Here you go. But yeah, it's not a crazy amount of damage, but the fact that we can use it every room now is pretty valuable. Tears up is lovely there as well. Thank you. Oh my god, this is such an aw awful room here. It's going to take me forever to get out of here. This little maneuver is going to set us back 64 years. My god. We got through it in the end though. But yeah, being able to use that every room now is really nice. 8 damage per tick is not a lot for bosses, but for regular enemies it's pretty good. It's like a bit more than our tier damage. Um, okay, I was very, very confused how this room was meant to play out for a second there, but I get it now. We got him. Hey, and there's another burn heart as well. We're getting lucky with those. Dude! What the fuck is up with all the active items? <sighs> Still to this day, one of my biggest gripes with Isaac is just the fact that item rooms can just give you active items over. There's, there should be a limit to how many active items you can get from item rooms. Because it's just giving... Like, that's three in a row now. Like, how many item rooms are we going to have to skip? I mean, luckily this runs pretty good without our item rooms. But we could be a lot stronger right now. We could be a lot, lot stronger than we are, but... Unfortunately, every single item room is just like, nah. I don't feel like giving you any power. Uh -oh, also, the active items you're going to get are bad. <laughs> like, not only that, but I'm going to give you the clicker. Wow, that's a weird upgrade. I was not expecting this enemy. Spin down. Okay, okay. We, we, might, we might be able to actually salvage this. We might be able to salvage this. I have no idea what clicker spins down into, but, um... I'm hoping it's something actually usable. Nope, it's Data Miner. Wow. Wow. The best spin down you've ever seen. The best spin down you've ever seen. Honestly, let's take this to the boss and uh, kill it instantly and then use that. I can't believe it spins down into an even worse active item. Just rude. Jar of Flies there. Yeah, another active. Yeah, we'll use our Soul of Azazel no matter what boss this is, um, and then we'll take the spin down with us going forward. Shame we didn't get it last vlog, because Consolation Prize is a really good spin down. Ooh, I'm very, very glad we got it on this boss. This is a potentially very annoying boss. And we get Sour Patch. Unfortunately, Angel Deals aren't really our jam right now, apparently. Um, we're not coming forth. Right, give me that spin down. We will keep on moving on. We are in the depths. Unfortunately, we didn't come across the future floor. Must be kind of rare. Oh well, we'll see it when we see it. And we'll go secret room here. Get a free rotten heart. I really love that. But yeah, because of all the burn hearts we've got, we haven't really had the chance to take full advantage of the revive mechanic. But I don't really mind, because we've been having fun with the character as it is. Wait, this guy doesn't take damage from creep? Why? 
That's really weird. Oh, dude, this guy's a nightmare. Fucking bomb him. <laughs> Can't be arsed dealing with that, dude. Oh, yes, more rotten hearts. Okay, we're up four rotten hearts now. That's a pretty great amount. We've also got really good damage, which means that we're getting a lot and a lot out of our flies. We're getting like 14, 15 damage out of our flies right now. Um, this is a very strange room. Okay, we got it. Bit of a weird one, but we got it. Monstrous Lung. Okay, finally something I like. Although we could we could go into Mum's Perfume, which is also really good. Uh, I, I like Mum. I like Monstrous Lung though. Oh no, that's a really bad fire rate though. It's a lot worse than I was expecting. I was expecting it to go to like 1.3 or 1.4. But I really like Monstrous Lung. It's just a thematically cool item, so I'll take it. Skullex boy. Midas Touch, maybe? Midas Touch. This, oh, we got a half Rotten Heart there. Um, hmm. Is this worth spinning down? Yes. It's not particularly amazing, but damage plus Concussive Tears is decent. And I don't know where else I'd end up using my spin down at this point, apart from maybe an angel deal. Because I could get a uh, death's touch, but I'm pretty sure death's touch is a tears down, so that would be kind of upsetting. Good. Okay. Run's going pretty well, though. We got ourselves a full card there. I suppose we could do a beast run, but I, I'm not. I don't think we're quite strong enough for a beast run. If we had more fire rate, then I'd definitely go for it. I'm a little wary right now. Oh, dude, the, the scythe stays alive after he dies. For some reason, I did not know that. Grab this red heart real quick. Fortunately, lost a rotten heart there. That's really not ideal. I like the fact that Rotten Hearts replace Soul Hearts, though, because it means you can buy them from the shop reliably and stuff. You're going to create a bunch of hosts here, aren't you? Only one, actually. That was pretty lucky. Ow. Still got hit by them, though. This is a bit of a nightmare of a room, this. Dude, can you pop your head up, please, so I can kill you? No? Not feeling it? Thank you. Ooh, trade a heart container for potential reward or that out of that guy. That's somewhat tempting, that is. Somewhat tempting. These stone guys can absolutely bugger off. Ooh, we upgraded him into whatever that is. Whatever it is has, has a lot of health. And we got a bunch of these dudes. The rest of them just try and avoid. Run this over. Good, good. Okay, so we found our boss nice and quick. Well, Mishap's actually really nice now that we have low tier rate. Um, and then I think we're good to go now. Nice. Get the shots on when we can. Flies hopefully can take care of stuff. Maybe we'll get some extra damage out of um out of spider mod here and there as well. Nice damage there. We're good, good. We'll take the Polaroid. I probably should take the negative for the damage really, but oh well. And we'll we'll take Devil Deal at this point, because the game is just being cruel to me now. 
Um, unfortunately, that uh, doesn't actually do anything for us because we can't take black hearts. But now we're on all burn heart health. A little annoyed there because for some reason the game was just being cruel and not giving us an angel deal again, which I'm not really sure why. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Being able to skip a womb floor is just the most joyous thing in the world. I'm liking this with uh, saw, by the way, where we're just getting, like, crazy amounts of tears coming out sometimes. What's this little floating bit of ex uh, matter? Oh, he, he can eat those and gain additional effects, I guess. Um, that is a gulp, which is nice, and plus two rotten hearts, which is pretty good. We'll check this out. Um... Don't think anything here is worth it, unfortunately. Yeah, devil deals, I don't know what's going on with them, but we got one angel deal and then it was like, nah, all devil deals from here on out, even though we'd taken an angel deal. We got the skip again. Oh, this is my f absolute favorite thing about card reading. It's just being able to skip the wound flaws. It's so satisfying. Unfortunately, Lemon Mishap isn't going to do much for us here. Don't worry about losing that um, thingy, that ha rotten heart there, because we'll get a new one next floor. Really would appreciate some fire rate increase, though. Pig's heart has been unlocked. Nice. Another devil deal. Actually, this one lump of coal would be rather nice here, so I will take this. I'm liking the concussive tears, actually. They're helping out. Lump of coal we got. Pretty lovely. And we'll be back on full Rotten Hearts as we go up here. I'm really liking the fact that card reading gives us Rotten Hearts now. That's that's a huge bonus. It's, it's potentially scary. Oh, dude. All the floor skips. You've got card reading. Just for people that, that like to min-max, it's not very useful. But for people like me that just like on the floors that don't have item rooms and shops, just want get to get to the end of the floor. Absolute perfection. Also, using Lump of Coal as, as much as I can here to burn us damage. Oh, dude. Bad. I lost a, um, a burn heart there. Health isn't particularly great anymore. Not ideal at all. Dude, he, he got me again. It's okay, we'll get another Rotten Heart next floor. Red Baby's Heart has been unlocked as well. To the next floor. We've got 10 keys, we're good to go. Health is iffy, but we should be fine. And no te boss teleport this time around, sadly. Ooh, Model Rocket. Could be really interesting with this. Siren's Call is pretty lovely. Halo Flies is nice. Infestation and Black Bean isn't very good. Let's see how this works. Ooh, that's a little rough. It's a little rough. Slower than I'd like it to be. Right. I mean, the damage increase is pretty hefty, I'll say that. Yeah, that, that's, that's a very hefty damage increase. Lump of coal plus this is uh, yielding some insane DPS. But still, not ideal because it means that we've got like a delay on our attack. It has uh, it has seemed to have grouped our, um, our attack much more though. As in like, the, um, the tiers are bundled together a lot more closely so we can hit more. Ooh, tier rate is fantastic there. Not a lot of tier rate, but the damage, especially plus our Rotten Heart Flies is... Really, really nice. Look at that. We just one-shot a boss. We weren't doing that before. We weren't doing that before. I like that. Man, yeah. Nice DPS increase here. This is certainly a lemon mishap sort of room. Ooh, I upgraded that guy into a much, much worse enemy. This would be a lot better with higher fire rate, because right now it's, it's kind of tragic. Oh, dude. You can't be giving me those guys. We've only got one look, so we're getting kind of lucky here. Bruising Tears, very nice as well.
Aha, I knew I could downgrade that guy before I uh, killed the other dude. He, normally he wouldn't be killable, but if I downgraded him, it would uh, it would let us. I think, oh dude, I, that was so stupid of me. I was like, I think I can let my flies get them here, forgetting that they of course get how to jump. Man, this is, this is really satisfying. <laughs> that was a one shot things. I think it's Model Rocket that's doing that, not Lump of Coal. Really not much I could do to avoid that there. Right, little bit of a risky boss fight here. I probably could, should have gone back to get some HP. But my thinking here is we have a lot of damage. The bruising gives us even more damage. We should be killing him into his other phases pretty quickly. Oh, that was a bad loss of a thingy there. There you go, next phase, into the last phase here. If all of them hit, it just does crazy good damage. Especially if we get Lump of Coal going as well. Ooh, what the fuck hit me there? That was very confusing. Did he telefrag me or something? Okay, we got him. Anyways, we got him. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. Um, apparently gotta wait for this to expire. The Fudge Dice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. A really simple but really unique character. I like them a lot. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.